demolishing project going on. I'm going to be showing you how to take out the dishwasher. This I can reuse elsewhere, so I'm actually going to leave the pigtail and, and the uh, connection connected, uh, except for the water line because this one has a copper water line. So here goes. First thing we're going to want to do is un unplug the machine. Next we're going to want to turn off the hot side water line. And we're going to make sure that that's off up top just by opening it up here. And it is. Okay. So we have no hot water going through either side, which is good. And now we can disconnect the water line here. It's also going to be disconnected underneath the dishwasher itself. So I don't need this copper line. I'll be using a flexible line instead. A little bit easier to work with. Anyway, we're untwisted there. And for the dishwasher, it's got two mounting screws that mount to the cabinet up underneath. You need to take out those screws. just underneath the front lip of the cabinet, right here. And this countertop's getting demoed too, so I'm not too worried about it. But what we'll need to do is fold those front two anchors down so we can slide underneath it, just like so. Not so much that we can't get the door closed for the dishwasher, but enough to get them out of the way. Okay. Now we're gonna go under the There's four screws to take off the bottom pan. Here goes that. bottom and one on each top and we need to save all these screws and all these plates it's a nice new dishwasher so if you use it somewhere else Disconnect the water line underneath there. Again, I'm gonna set the screws in here. I'll probably wind up wind up taping them uh, inside here just so nothing gets lost. Again, need to disconnect that water line. I've got the machine unplugged. And here it is. Taking out the water line, which there's not a whole lot of room here. you this with the basin wrench. The basin wrench has a bit of an extension on it. Sometimes, if we get lucky, we can just kind of loosen things up a little bit. Also allows us to get in there at an angle. So, might be just enough to really turn this out. Water's turned off, so we just got a little residual water. You can throw a rag down if you're concerned about it, but I got a concrete floor and the unit's getting remodeled. It's not going to be a big deal. There we go. Loosened up a bit. Sweet. Okay, that was a little more water than I wanted. Let's 
still no big deal. And the unit's getting remodeled. Okay, now to make pulling this out a little bit easier, what we can do is lower down these front legs. Just to make getting over the vinyl a little bit easier. The vinyl's also getting replaced here, but still I think this will be just a bit easier just to lower those down. I'm lifting up a little bit on the dishwasher to make turning the feet a lot easier. Okay, now we're ready to pull the dishwasher out. And again, I'm just gonna take a strip of tape and tape the screws inside here. Make sure they're inside the cover. Make sure they're, they're all actually taped there. And the same with the mounting screws. It'll just make it a little bit easier to find them and all and keep track of everything down the road. Okay. And this we can stick in the dishwasher. On the other side, we'll feed our cord through. Uh, one more thing, we got our dishwasher hose. There will also be some water left in there. fed through right here. We'll just pull them through as we pull the dishwasher out. The clamp I'll tighten down a little bit on here so we don't lose it and we'll just keep it with the dishwasher. I'll get new clamps for the new dishwasher for the remodel. And this one pull on out of there. Now we just need to clear the vinyl Avoid pulling at the front of the face here. That'll bend it out. We don't want that. I'll lift up enough to clear the vinyl. Get it past that, then drop it and make sure we're below the cabinet up top, which we are. Now we're ready to pull the whole thing on out. Here. actually got little wheels on the back which will make moving that part easier because we can just tilt it up and move it back. Now we just need to feed our cord, cord and hose through. 
as we pull the dishwasher out the rest of the way. one here. be some water left in the in the hose line and we can just get rid of that either vacuum it out or flip it up under one of the cables here and now this one's ready to be installed elsewhere good to go that's how to demo and take out a dishwasher with as little damage as possible. Thank you.